Welcome to this session on taking payments from within inside Salesforce. By taking payments inside Salesforce, we mean taking a payment against an account, a contact, an opportunity, or basically any tab or custom object inside Salesforce. So we're inside Salesforce here, and for this example, what we'll do is we'll create an opportunity, and then we'll take a payment against that opportunity. So I am going to locate an organization here called AW Computers. This is at the account level. I scroll down to the related list here and I'll create an opportunity. The opportunity core entry is the same as what you would normally do. We enter the name, you enter the type, you enter the amount, I'll enter $1,000. The close date I'll put as today and we'll just enter a sales stage and go save. What you'll notice here is on the page layout for the opportunity, we have a few extra buttons here. One is for credit card payments, one is to make a manual payment, such as cash, check, or money order, or a combination of the both is through the make payment button. For this example, I'm going to take a credit card payment for this opportunity. I click the credit card button and that launches the payment form. I note down the person actually uh, making the payment, Kate, Elroy and enter other details as appropriate. It's defaulted in the amount but I'm just going to say that Kate has paid a deposit of $700. We'll enter in the details on the card and I go continue and then I'll confirm that payment. Now when we go back to Salesforce and we're back onto the opportunity that we had here, first of all we'll notice that we have an amount of $1,000 and the total amount outstanding at the moment is $700. But when I refresh the screen now we should see that the amount outstanding is now $300 because the total amount paid was $700 and that was from the credit card payment we just took. If I scroll down the screen here I can see the payment transaction has been related to this. Should the person have made a check cash money order I could have entered the manual payments button. Please also check out our online user manuals as you could create your own custom buttons for taking our payments. Some extra features that you could add in is defaulting and changing the way the payment forms behave depending on the payment being made. You could for example remove all of the contact details or you could pass in fixed amounts so that person couldn't change the amounts. Uh, other things that you can do is also is create uh, URL tokens or links from this. So you could actually send an email with an embedded link that goes directly to a customer. They click on that link and then make the payment and then that is linked all the way back to that particular account contact or opportunity that you made the payment request from. Thank you very much for listening and please do check out our online user manuals and other resources available.